The AFL Finals are finally here. I've already given you my predictions for week one. Now let me give you my AFL Finals predictions for the entire series. We've got the bracket right here. I've got the four first week finals up there. I'll pick my winner. The bracket will go on and we'll see who I think is going to win the premiership in 2023. Now week one, I'm going to be decently brief. Um, I'll still talk about the game a little bit if you want me to go fully in depth into the week one tips then I'll leave the link in the description or go check out my most recent video where I go through my week one tips and predictions for the finals. Starting off with the first qualifying final, it is Collingwood who take on Melbourne in the first qualifying final at the MCG. Melbourne, they have looked so, so much better with a, you know, a more balanced forward line without Brody Grundy in the twos. I think Gorn being able to single-handedly dominate in the ruck with full-time specialist forwards in the forward line instead of a makeshift forward Brody Grundy that they're trying to cram into the team. Melbourne have looked so much better. And back to their 2021 best, they've built their game off defense and they are back to their very, very best at the moment, the Demons. But unfortunately, the formidable force that is Collingwood is too hard to go past. I'm going to be going to Pies to win this one by nine points. They're going to move into a home preliminary final at the MCG and Melbourne will have the double chance with a home semi-final at the MCG. Now for the second elimination final, it's Carlton and it's Sydney at the MCG. The Blues' first finals appearance since, is it 2012, 2013? 10 years plus, um, the Blues are back in September and the Swans know this feeling far too well after a terrible uh, you know, first half of the season form slump. Seeing in the bottom four, that's look, that was looking like where they were going to finish. They picked themselves back up under one of Sydney's best of a coaches, John Longmire. And he brought uh, this young swan side once again to the promised land, to the top eight. And can they make a dream run for the grand final? You never know. I know. They're not going to. The Blues are going to get this game done. And they're going to win it by 41 points. They're in far too good form at the moment. And I simply just don't see Carlton dropping this. They move into a semi-final against Melbourne at the MCG. Now moving into the second elimination final between the Saints and the Giants at the MCG. It's the Saints first time in finals since 2020 and the Giants first time since 2021. Very intriguing contest this one. I think this game and the Collingwood Melbourne game are two very intriguing contests that could go either way. The Saints form at the MCG, not just this year, but over the past few years, historically has been very, very good. Better than their record at Marvel even. And the Giants playing their orange tsunami football at the moment with their transition from the back half to the forward half that just kills any team in front of them is a real scary sight for any team let alone in final footy for the Saints. It's going to be a real interesting contest and both teams have good track records at the MCG and I could see this going either way 100% but I'm going to back the Giants in here. Play that Orange Tsunami brand. It's going to be close for the first three quarters. And they're going to run away with it in the fourth. And win by 23 points. And move themselves into an away semi-final. And then in the second qualifying final at the Gabba. It's the Brisbane Lions and Port Adelaide. Brisbane have not lost at the Gabba this year. They have built a fortress that you pretty much can't break down. It's the hardest place to go in footy. Geelong in Geelong is a very winnable game now and Brisbane and Brisbane is the real true test. I mean god I, I, I'm I, sorry I don't see Port Adelaide winning this and I think Port Adelaide are a good side I know people have seemed to forgot very quickly they were challenging for the top two for the first half of the year and they probably almost could have won the minor premiership but Brisbane at the gather far too good unfortunately. It's the Lions by 48 points for me who will move into a home prelim final or well, the power will move into a semi. We've got the week two of finals locked in. Let's move on to the first semi final where it's going to be the Demons and the Blues at the MCG. What a contest this would be. I think Melbourne will have fought hard against Collingwood, but I don't think he'll let their heads drop. They won a premiership only two years ago, and they've still got a fair majority of that premiership side playing for them today. They know how to get over hurdles. They know how to break through his mental barriers. And Carlton's form leaning into this game will, I mean, it would have been, what, 10 wins in the last 11 if they make it to this semi-final. They are an absolutely unbelievable footy side, Carlton. But I think the Demons will build this game off defense. The forward line will be balanced. I could be wrong, but I believe Bailey Fritch is in selection contention for this game, which would be a massive boost for the Demons. I think it's going to go right down to the wire, and it's going to be, once again, a late Cozzy pick it goal to break Blue's hearts again. I'm going to go the Demons by two points to move into a prelim final at the Gabba. And now the second semi-final between Port Adelaide and GWS at the Adelaide Oval. What an intriguing contest this is. Um, 
Port Adelaide, as I said, had an incredible first half of the year. They dropped off a little bit in the second half of the year. And going into this game, um, coming off that Brisbane loss, their form will have not been too great. And the Giants love a random win. They, I mean, they froth a random win on the big stage playing orange tsunami football. You will never tear us apart. We'll be belting pre-game. It won't worry Adam Kingsley and his Giants men. Paul Gagalaga are going to go in as clear favourites, but the Giants are going to control the game all day and they are going to pound to power on their home deck by 33 points. The comments won't be happy with that. I'm going for the big call. And now the prelim final that we've seen before. The MCG hosts Collingwood and GWS. If you look back to the 2019 grand final, the crowd was 99.9% .9 Richmond, 0.5% GWS. It will be the exact same here. 95,000 at the G and you won't see a tint of orange. And I think the Giants will have had a very tiring elimination final against the Saints. A very tiring semi-final against the power. They are still a young side. I'm tipping them to get a few upsets here. But I think they're going to crumble in the prelims against the best team in the competition. I'm going to go to the Pies to absolutely thump the Giants in this prelim, unfortunately, by 62 points. And move themselves into a grand final and shatter those young Giants hearts. And now the prelim final at the Gabba. It's the Brisbane Lions and Melbourne. What a contest this would promise to be. Now, the Lions obviously have made the Gabba an absolute fortress. It's an incredibly hard and timid place to go. Fierce, the crowd really gets on top of you. But I've got a feeling the Lions win every single game at the Gabba this year, including the qualifying final versus Port Adelaide. They get the week off, they get a little bit too complacent, and the calm heads of Melbourne from their premiership success two years ago, they come and have a massive upset prelim win. I'm going to the Demons to beat the Lions in an all-time classic prelim by five points and the Lions have got to bottle another preliminary final which sets up a grandstand all Victorian grand final between two old rivals Collingwood and Melbourne in the 2023 AFL grand final will this happen absolutely not no creator that does these videos ever gets the grand final right it just never happens there's always a few random upsets in the finals so this will 100% not be right. Collingwood and Melbourne won't play in this year's grand final, but according to my predictions, they will. This will be a back and forth contest all day. Collingwood love their transition footy. Melbourne love to hold the game up from the back and play daring but composed and calm footy. It's two incredible coaching heads of Craig McRae and Simon Goodwin going into battle. And I think it's going to go right down to the wire. And you know what? It's silly season. It's finals time. Jamie Elliott after the siren to win the flag. Am I an absolute dumbass for saying that? 100%. If that happens, I think the whole free world will go into meltdown. And it won't happen. After the siren in a grand final, you are joking. But I'm going to pass to win the flag by three points with Jamie Elliott kicking a goal after the siren to beat the Demons in the last Saturday in September. And there you go, Collingwood are my premiership predictions. Let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments. I've gone a bit controversial with this video. I'm sure the comments will let me know about it. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.